today we will see about uh, how to prepare ps group b examination about its study material preparation and uh, syllabus as per 2022 first of all we will see what is the uh, ps group b study material books required and uh, syllabus for it uh, what is the eligibility and pattern and uh, preparation strategy and uh, that is how to prepare for ps group b and what are the inferences uh, from ps group b question paper 2020 and even from uh, 2019 also i will make an analysis please watch till then first we will see about uh, what is the type of filling up of the ps group b post the ps group b post will be filled in three categories one is the seniority quota that is 75% of the post will be filled through seniority quota by virtue of uh, seniority they will be promoted from uh, ip or asp to uh, ps group b cadre and uh, the second one is through ip line and uh, general line the third one is general line or clerical line from general line uh, 9% of uh, uh, people will be taken towards the, to the 9% of the uh, post will be uh, reserved for uh, general line and then 19% will be reserved for ip line so the and for ip line and uh, general line there will be a ps group b examination that is called ldce limited departmental competitive examination for which you are preparing for so this is how the posts are filled and so when you are uh, selected to the post uh, you simply you are in this cream of the cream to the in the department there are just 866 posts uh, in uh, ps group b so you are you will be so more important in the cadre now for motivation purpose see how what is the uh, career progression of a ps group b officer once you become a ps group b officer from an ipo line or a general line first of uh, as an ipo or a ps uh, group b uh, non gusted uh, in ipo line you will be having a grade pm pay scale of uh, 44900 and in the 117 now you will be promoted to ps group b officer and uh, in the you may be an sp or you may be a ad and your uh, pay scale will come to 50 53100 and level 9 and uh, this will be five years of service is required for an ipo uh, to become an sp that is to appear for the examination and there is no age and educational qualification restriction as such soon after uh, uh, sp you will be promoted to ssp jts uh, that is uh, after completion of uh, two years service in the sp cadre you are eligible for becoming uh, sp jt ssp jts in the level 10 of uh, scale uh, 56100 however through dr candidates uh, through civil services uh, by upsc ipos candidates will also enter the india post department uh, through this department in this uh, level that is from the age between uh, 21 years to 32 years or 35 or 37 for oc obc sc st respectively they will come into the department uh, starting from this point that is uh, jts cadre however the time may take it may take some more time for you to become jts uh, based on the number of uh, posts available so after jts you will become sts that is ssp cadre in the level 11 with a uh, scale of 67700 uh, that is from ssp jts to ssp sts uh, some five years service is required this is as per the latest change earlier it used to be four years now it has been changed to five years and after uh, s uh, ssp sts you will be promoted to uh, dps jag uh, jag cadre junior administrative grade that is uh, level 12 with a basic pay of uh, 7000 uh, 78800 that means after 5 years uh, ssp sts to ss dps jag will be promoted and uh, after jag in dps uh, you will be promoted to uh, you will be given nfsg and uh, in the level uh, 13 and it will be 1 lakh 23100 and in jag nfsg uh, from jag dps to Uh, nfsg dps you will have to put in some 14 years uh, as on 1st january of the following year of the civils exam or inclusion in the select list sly list there will be separately maintained for uh, departmental candidates who are who have come from uh, pa cadre and uh, sp ssp like that and uh, for that uh, they will be included in the select list and for civil services uh, it will be some 14 years next comes the uh, cag cadre you will become pmg if you uh, get the get to the level of 14 uh, and with a pay scale of uh, 1 lakh 44200 uh, 
and normally dps nfs g2 pmg sag will be after 80 years combined service of uh, jag and jag nfs g or total 17 years in group a with at least 4 years in jag or jag nfs g so this is the career progression somewhere around uh, dps to jag some people they may stop and some others who have service uh, they may go up to the level of pmg also at the end fag end of their retirement so this is how you your career will be progressed if you get through the ps group examination for motivation purpose i have posted this one and then comes the salary see if you are here in the you are now here in the as a lsg spm uh, somewhere here of uh, 42000 you will be drawing or hsg2 for uh, some 50000 you will be drawing as ipo you will be drawing some 63300 roughly as an asp 67000 and uh, once you become an sp it, you will, your salary becomes uh, 53100 will be the basic pay and put together you may get some around 76000 and it, it may progress also so this is the first motivation that you have to have to start your preparation and now we will see about the eligibility conditions one by one the maximum age there is no age restriction for uh, applying for group b examination and the number of chances are any number of chances there is no such limit any time you can write for any number of times this examination minimum service is ip or asp not less than 5 years of continuous service in ip plus asp as on the as of the date of eligibility notified here in this year uh, uh, for this year there are two uh, years notification that has been released and 11 uh, 2021 uh, and 11 2022 are the crucial dates for these two years uh, so as on those days uh, you should have five years as a ip or asp to be eligible for appearing in the ps group b examination similarly for the clerical line or general line five years service in lsg pa or above cadre uh, they are eligible for appearing the ps group b Uh, examination and you should re also remember that uh, tbop macp bcr they are not uh, treated as uh, uh, the minimum completion of lsgpa okay you should understand they are only financial promotions they are not the uh, actual promotions so lsgpa plus 5 years uh, is required for P appearing in the ps group b examination and uh, if there is a doubt that can we write the uh, exam in hindi yes india post site uh, can be accessed in hindi as well and major contents and volumes are available in hindi also you can auto click and get hindi version also in the india post site all the volumes are also available in hindi also the negative marking there won't be any negative marking and there will be only two papers without aid of books will be the examination pattern now we will see the schedule that uh, recently uh, department directorate has notified uh, ps group b examination that is going to be conducted on 6th of november 2022 on sunday and the schedule is like this uh, online application process starts from 23 9 2022 from 9 am last date for application uh, online application is 13 10 2022 20, up to 5 30 pm verification uh, details on online application by the controlling officer should be completed by 17 10 and correction in any application form if any can be done by the candidate uh, it should be done from 9 am of uh, 18 10 there will be a window opened uh, in during that time 1822 to 530 pm on 2010 2022 that means 18 19 20 three days will be open for any corrections in the application verification of resubmitted applications by the controlling officer should be completed by 21 10 and approval and final uh, uh, finalization of online application and allotment of center by the nodal officer will be completed by 27 10 and admit cards will be award available for downloading by the candidates uh, from the website india post site uh, that is uh, uh 28 10 2022 finally the exam date is on 6th november that is 6th november 22 2022 on sunday so if you can see the pattern and eligibility here we have seen all the eligibility conditions earlier the there will be two papers as we have seen earlier two papers will be there each will be having 3 hours of time and the questions will be uh, 125 mcqs and uh, plus that plus one drafting question will be there for 25 marks and one noting question will be there for 25 marks in this 125 you will have also current affairs also for 15 questions that is 30 marks so 110 questions will be from volumes uh, 15 questions will be for 15 questions that is 30 marks from uh, and this from uh, current affairs and uh, 25 drafting 25 noting put together it is 300 and it will be conducted on day 1 that is on on the day given for you on 10 am to 
1 pm without aid of books second paper will be for 3 hours and 150 mcqs will be given from entire volumes and it will be each question carries 2 marks and 300 there is no negative marking and it will be day one only on the same day only and the afternoon 2 to 5 pm it will be conducted and without aid of books and this will be conducted and the question paper will be given in English and Hindi, both, okay? Bilingual, generally. And uh, qualifying marks in each paper should be 45, shall be 40 percent subject to overall uh, percentage, average of 45 percent. That means uh, in each paper, you should get 40 percent and 40 percent uh, uh, marks average should be, used. and on average, both you should get 45 percent for uh, general category. And 33 percent uh, in each paper uh, for SCST, and overall percentage for SCST is uh, 38 percent. That means here, if you can get 40, here if you get 50, the average becomes 45. So for a OC candidate, this is enough. For SCST, it would be 33, 33. But uh, here, uh, if you get uh, both 33, it is not enough. Uh, you should get uh, on an average both. You should get an average of 38. Okay, and all cases, uh, circulars, orders, guidelines issued up to 31 December of the year preceding the year of the examination will be part of the syllabus except for annual report and the book of information for which the latest report and information available are published on the DOP website will be taken. So, what is your syllabus means all the circulars, orders, uh, guidelines uh, that are given up to December 31st of the year preceding the year of the examination. So, this year you are going to get have the examination uh, in 2022. So, 31 12 2021 is the cutoff date up to which you have to go through all the circulars and orders and guidelines given by the directorate on the all the topics given in the syllabus and apart from that you have to go through the annual report and book of information that is available on the website uh, dop website that is indiapost.gov.in so here annual report you have 2021 uh, uh, to 22 that is the latest one don't uh, search for 22 23 it has not come and the book of information it is up to only 19 and 20 only if you have found uh, for 22 21 please uh, post in the comment section next uh, and this is for paper one as i already have told you one ten questions will be asked uh, uh, from the volumes uh, and uh, 220 marks will be there in the paper one and in the 15 questions will be asked from current affairs and 15 into 2 each question carries 2 marks, 30 marks will be there for um, current affairs and uh, noting and drafting uh, 200 words, uh, one question for two, 25 marks uh, and uh, one more question for drafting uh, uh, each question carries 25, 25, 2 questions and 50 marks. So, all together it is uh, 300 marks uh, will be first paper. Second paper, the entire thing is uh, volumes, 150 questions MCQs will be given and uh, 300 marks it carries. Now coming into the pattern and eligibility, here you can see the date of examination already we have seen 6-11-2022 and the examination will be conducted in the circle headquarters uh, of your circle and it will be in both English and Hindi you can see. And coming into the crucial dates uh, for two, the, here this year they are going to conduct for two years uh, vacancies are there. First year is uh, 2021 vacancies and 2022 vacancies. 21 means one uh, calendar year, 22 means calendar year. And the crucial date of eligibility is 1 1 2021. That means uh, for inspectors and assistants opponents having five years regular service from the date of joining uh, as on the crucial date. That's, this is the crucial date for 2021. And this is the crucial date for 2022. That means as on 1 month 2021, you should have completed 5 years of service as IP or ASP. Okay, that will be, that in that way you will be eligible. And for the clerical line uh, officials uh, from post offices and divisional officers, uh, they should have 5 years regular service in the lower selection grade and above. So, as on 1 month 2021, uh, they should have uh, this uh, 5 years service in the lower selection grade and above. Similarly, for 2022 vacancies, 1-1-2022, uh, you should have 5 years of service. And regarding APS candidates, applicants uh, serving on deputation in APS uh, shall also appear for the examination center of their parent civil circle. So, in the parent circle only they have to appear for the examination. APS authorities will send the applications of the applicants uh, while working in APS uh, to concerned nodal officer of the circle by furnishing the eligibility details. So, this is the for the authorities concerned. And now coming into the vacancies, as per the notification given uh, in the PS Group B 2022, IP line uh, quota is 19 
15%. We have seen that already. Clerical line is 6%. Uh, for 2021, UR vacancies are 21, SC vacancies are 4, ST vacancies are 2 and total is 32. And uh, 2022, they have not yet given and they have inf informed that the vacancy position for two for the year 2022 will be intimated shortly and the vacancy position in the above table is subject to change they also uh, mentioned that uh, this will be changed this may uh, involve some changes also at a later date and for clerical line the number of ur posts is 7 sc is 3 and st is 0 total is uh, 10 posts and 22 posts uh, 2022 vacancy position will be intimated later by the department Okay. Next, uh, now as far as uh, PS Group B examination material and the books are concerned and uh, different uh, sources you have to uh, see. First one is the India Post website. We all know it. The link is given there. You, you will have the manuals, postal manuals, all manuals available there. And the second one is the Swami Publishers book and the uh, website is given there. And the third one is the Ministry of Personal and Public Grievances and Pensions. That is uh, persminnic.in for manual of office procedure, service rules like FRSR, leave rules, PF rules, LTC rules, pension rules, conduct rules, CCSCCA rules, GFR, notes of office procedure, rules of conduct of business, all these things are available in this website. So this is also useful website. And the fourth one is the website for MCQs and notes with the latest information that is website. And uh, these are the books uh, that you may have to purchase also because uh, all the books are not readily available. And of course, I will show you what is the syllabus and what books you have to uh, refer to for each uh, syllabus topic uh, in a while. And these are the books uh, I suggest you to purchase from Swami Publishers. And the links are given in the description below and even in the first comment also. Re go through the first comment and you will find the uh, links uh, that you that are available you can directly purchase from that also and the precise uh, handbook is there swami handbook uh, 2022 is an important uh, book where you will have the crisp uh, uh, items of all kinds and uh, nearly 40 questions uh, they come from this book so it is very very important it may be around some 500 rupees i don't know but uh, this is very important and uh, you have to go thoroughly with the book especially in the swami publishers uh, i also I uh, request you to lay emphasis on the last box items uh, at the end of each chapter. Some important points are given by the Swami Publishers. Please go through these important points also. And in the year 2020, they have given uh, uh, almost 10 questions from this uh, box items of uh, uh, Swami Pub, uh, Handbook at the end of the this one. That means the question has been uh, made out of these uh, box items. So please go through it also. Regarding the presses and uh, draft made easy also you may have to pu uh, purchase from Swami Publishers. Uh, that is a good book. Ad uh, establishment and administration uh, uh, norms will be there if are from Swami. This is also Swami Publishers. A big book. I, I think it is from uh, 1900 I think. But it is worth a purchase because it covers a major portion of the uh, uh, rules and regulations regarding DPCs, uh, senioritys, uh, service books what not everything uh, regarding uh, uh, administration and establishment it covers and it also will be used it is a handy book that you have to keep with you even if you be, even after you become an sp also because all the major rules uh, that are useful uh, while uh, working as a divisional head or a, a assistant director in a circle office or an or regional office or even if you work in directorate uh, you need to have this book uh, very nearest at uh, the nearest place to you such a handy book it is and ccs leave rules made easy uh, this there are made easies from swami rules and these are all these uh, made easies uh, that i recommend to purchase swami uh, rules made easy leave rules made easy ta rules made easy pay rules made easy pension rules made easy all these made easies also uh, you may have to purchase and uh, go through it that will uh, uh, less burden your time because the uh, time is short and this made easy uh, will really makes your work uh, made easy and this one is the conduct rules and cca rules i always uh, recommend you to go through the entire book of these two books uh, particularly and you are supposed to know thoroughly about the rule numbers relating to the conduct rules especially conduct rules because they may, they may ask the rule numbers also 
and regarding the pension compilation this is important frs are part 1 2 3 and 4 that means uh, part 1 is general rules uh, leave rules ta rules da da and hra and public program gpf also swami publications is there and uh, next this uh, ccs uh, commutation of pension rules gfr rules and uh, swami compilation of ccs uh, re revised pay rule and fhb if you have uh, uh, fhb also 1 and 2 have been released by the department you can go and uh, see it also but uh, as per the rule uh, 3112 uh, 2021 only it should be there but these two have been released in this year so whatever extent possible you can go through it and uh, delegation of financial powers rules also it is available in from swami publication ca rules ltc rules uh, rti act also it is available in swami constitution of india and uh, financial powers delegated to hoc and at other departments fhp 1 and 2 have, here you have seen this is a guide one guide is also there if you want and uh, official noting and drafting english and telugu government officials to the master noting both hindi and english versions are there you may go through it so now coming into the uh, if you want if you have any doubts or any other book recommendations you want uh, you just uh, drop a mail on uh, my email id that is uh, career post 2 at the rate gmail.com just i will be uh, reverting you back and some of the websites that i would uh, like to some of the books and website that i would like to like you to go through or refer uh, for noting and drafting is uh, uh as always the first one is the swami's precise and draft made easy in this you have the draft made easy also and manual of office procedure by swami publications is also important uh, so that you will understand the uh, what is the noting and drafting scenario available in the post office in an office at digital office or in any office uh, circle office or an arbo and you can uh, very well understand drafting and noting procedures thereafter the official noting and drafting already we have seen this one and there is one more thing uh, if you want to go in depth uh, repedex english noting and drafting course is also there some points you may refer which you may find uh, uh, you may not find in these things so this is an exhaustive thing and one more thing is that don't forget to watch uh, career post uh, video on noting and drafting that will clear almost all your doubts but these things uh, they will enhance your uh, uh, this subject and regarding this uh, current affairs there is a one good book uh, for gk for which uh, link i will place in the description box and as well as in the first comment also of this video just go and click there this 14000 mcqs uh, chapter wise uh, and general studies for upsc railway banking and etc this is a book that will cover almost all the static gk static gk also they are giving in uh, though they say it is current affairs uh, they will go for the static ones that which are current like that they are giving so those things also you should not forget and one more book i suggest for uh, current affairs and uh, static gk is uh, lucent gk this is a standard gk if you are uh, avers to the uh, mcqs and you are a notes type guy this book is very good for you and it will be a notes type uh, uh, which is the longest which is hardest which is shortest like this these things will be covered uh, history geography everything will be covered and uh, byjuice.com also I, i will post this link also in the this one this is a statistic static gk for all government of uh, government officers examinations uh, that will be useful for you this also i will post in the description box as well as the first comment so that you can click it there and go and get the access so these are the books of different books for uh, noting and drafting now uh, the ps group b syllabus has been uh, uh, revised earlier uh, that is there is one more corrigendum corrigend also uh 59 2019 and there is a corrigendum on uh, 12 31 12 2019 in this regard and you can access this uh, ramkrishnavai.website uh, slash pss dot uh, uh, hyphen p a group hyphen b slash syllabus uh, there you can see the syllabus uh, thing now we will go to that uh, syllabus part and i will show you what is the syllabus and uh, you can access you can see here so you you will come here and you will find this uh, these are all the links also links are also available here and this is the syllabus as per as ps group b syllabus is concerned uh, consumer protection act in the first paper you, there are two papers already we have seen in the first paper you have consumer protection act the beauty is that i, I have given the link here if you click it uh, 
you will go to the link and you can directly access the pdf or whatever it is see here you can see the consumer protection act 1986 and you can straight away read through it and you need not uh, venture for selection and going in different places second one is the prevention of money laundering act and its amendments some again one more pdf in india post it is given here some 19 pages pdf is there aml, AML and cft norms will be there K, what is kyc know your customer details all these three things are there those things you have to learn and uh, prevention of money laundering act also you will see in that also you will find uh, uh, already we have seen this one and post office rules uh, 1933 will be there if you click it it goes to 1933 so I, now now you understand uh, what is there so po guide part 1 po guide part 2 and uh, domestic and foreign guidelines uh, issued by directorate uh, book of bo rules it is there and uh, if you click the links it will go to the resource also this postal volume 5 and uh, pnop mnop i have made uh, uh, PNOP video also you can check it MNOP video also I have made you can check it and uh, guidelines of the directorate on EMO, IMO, IMTS, IFS money orders all these things are there and you should understand that IMO has been discontinued and uh, these uh, dates also <coughs> sometimes they are asking and regarding savings banks and certificates uh, post office savings bank general rules 1981 post office savings rules 1981 nsrd tdi mis certificates senior citizen nsc kisan vikas patra ppf sukanya samruddhi and posb volume 1 and 2 and sb orders from 2007 onwards you have to read all these are important and guidelines issued by the directorate from time to time on core banking services and cbs manual this cbs manual is very very important and this cbs part alone that is from this savings banks alone in the last 19 2019 you got some 10 questions in 2021 uh, sorry 2020 you got 13 questions in paper one so that important it is particularly if you complete the cbs manual of 567 pages uh, that will be important i have given you this link of uh, latest cbs manual that has been released uh, in the year uh, 13 31 12 2021 that means you have in the syllabus don't think this uh, new whether you have to read uh, old one or new one it is uh, new one only you have to read that is 554 pages okay this is corrected up to 31 12 2021 so this you have to uh, read and go through it if you go through cbs manual every these all things will be covered and there is a 2019 uh, one consolidated guidelines of uh, POSB rules has been given that gazette also you please go through and even that gazette will be covered in the cbs manual itself next comes to the pli as far as pli and rpli is concerned 2011 uh, poli rules are given so poli 2011 it is given in the sankalan pli latest one that means that in 2000 pli 2011 rules are covered in sankalan this is the book i am referring to 284 pages uh, this book has and this is the latest one uh, so latest one in the sense not 2022 this is uh, 2021 february so this you have to go through it contains all the uh, pli part and you have to pli rules are also covered in this uh, topic uh, so just go through it uh, this is a very good book and uh, guidelines from for the department from time to time on PLI and RPLI core insurance solution. And coming to the postal manual volume 2, this is the normal postal volume 2 and uh, only chapter organization chapter is given here in the paper 1 and uh, in paper 2 they have given some more from the volume 2. Overall, all the volume 2 is covered, you have to cover citizen charter of the department guidelines and instructions a complaint grievance handling in the department of course uh, say what them complaint uh, computerized customer care system of department operating guidelines if you click here it goes there it modernization project as far as the it modernization project is concerned uh, i have given this uh, in the uh, in the uh, two videos have been made and you may go through that this is these are the two videos that i am referring to these are the two videos one is about the general description about the project a class will be there and uh, the second one will be usually the mcqs 
and uh, you go go through the both the videos and uh, read the content in the uh, blog spot also blog also and updates also are given philately as far as philately is concerned handbook on philately is there i have given the link philately faqs are there i have given the link and uh, volume 2 remaining things uh, miscellaneous 11 part is given that also you have to read manual of office procedure as i have already told swami's one is there and there is a free resources also i have given here uh, it is uh, up to you your choice you may choose any one of these and uh, annual report 2021-22 i have given here that is there this is the latest one you have to refer that is why i have clicked here you just see the face of it uh, then you will understand and book of information is from 2019 and 20 only if you have the latest one you let me know and uh, volume 2 remaining parts are given that is a uh, stock uh, stock part and uh, seven is the uh, printing contracts also it is given here and budget estimates and control is also given and general financial rules uh, chapter six is given chapter six is very very crucial i mean to say see here this annual report has been opened and this is the new one and here you have to go through all these uh, points and uh, make your own notes and uh, this is the uh, latest one here if you can see the ratio of urban to rural it is 10 percent 1 is to 10 like that you should remember these points and uh, general financial rules i have made a video on uh, general financial rules also 2017 one on mcqs one is a class on uh, chapter 6 particularly this is the latest one as of now also as on this today date also this is latest one that video you, you definitely have to observe next one is uh, watch that video cbc guidelines on procurement guidelines and instructions and procurement in uh, government of india that is also there just you click the points you will get the links and uh, go through it and manual on policies and procure uh, procedures of uh, purchase of goods and services available on the website of uh, in ministry of finance this also it is there see here you can see the cvc guidelines uh, pdf some 88 points are there there is not much content in it uh, and uh, not many questions can be asked uh, i can find a one or two um, uh, five five to six important points uh, to be covered in this uh, point i will uh, make it a point to cover these uh, five to six points in the come forthcoming video and uh, here when we come to the establishment and administrative matters uh, the postal manual volume 4 confidential reports so that is apars you have to see the guide directed guidelines also you have to see and uh, there is one book on uh, by swami that you can go through and schedule of financial powers of uh, divisional heads uh, at the circles you can get it from the india post website itself you can click it here it goes there welfare measures also there is one compendium available utilities uh, cept.gov.in so you you have to go through this one and uh, this is the latest one and uh, there are some changes in that also uh, very few changes are there that you for gds uh, that you have to go through and schedule of financial powers of divisional head and circle circle head that is available welfare measures we have seen manual on establishment administration that is uh, swami publications is there reservation on brochures uh, and uh, sports persons reservation also you have to go through the instructions by given by the dopt and compassionate appointment orders uh, and uh, instructions regarding compassionate appointment also you have to see both for gds as well as department there is one uh, brochure on uh, reservations by number publications you may go through it about the reservations and recruitment rules are re relating to various uh, uh, cadres in the department of post is also important uh, that is available in india post website if you click it there it will go there and volume 4 also you may have to go through i advise you to purchase this uh, swami volume 4 definitely because this is a new one a lot of changes are there from the old one because uh, some rule 38 uh, rules have been changed recently and uh, that have been incorporated in the swami publications uh, you go through that and uh, regarding the now we have completed the paper one paper two as far as paper two is concerned you will find uh, ccs conduct rules ccs cca rules gfr and uh, uh, frsrs and fhb sacs will be there and ccs conduct rules you have to purchase the swami book book and uh, uh, see it if you want a free resource it is available and uh, ccs cca rules uh, there is a publication from swami i advise you to go through these two books thoroughly and make your own notes prepare your own notes 
and volume 3 it is a, a free resource that is available and if you want you can purchase from Swami Publishers also and in volume 3 these are important there will be some important points that are not covered in uh, CCA CCA and uh, I need not say that uh, uh, CCA CCA rules are uh, subsumed in the volume 3 that is known to us but there are some relevant points that you have to remember that are not covered in CCA CCA rules uh, that are covered in volume 3 that they are asking in the examination and CCS temporary service rules free resources there and Swami publishers it is there and the brochure on casual labors you can uh, get it from uh, Amazon or Flipkart whatever it is and uh, CCS pension rules 1972 and its amendments uh, there is a free resource as well as a uh, Swami publishers uh, guidelines are also there book is also there new pension scheme handbook is there new pension scheme rules 2004 Swami publishers book is also there either of which you can choose CCS commutation of pension rules uh, there is a free resource there is Swami publications and FRSR uh, leave rules and uh, I already told you, you better purchase this one, Swami Made Easy Rules, uh, CCS Leave Rules, that will help you. And CCS uh, uh, Joining Time Rules uh, 1979, uh, this, uh, this Joining Time Rules is covered in Swami Handbook 2022. It contains Joining Time Rules and so many other rules uh, in a crisp manner. So, I strongly recommend you to purchase this Swami Handbook and uh, GPF rules 1960 GPF rules uh, Swami publishers also had a book and medical attendance rules 1944 there is a link here and there is a Swami publishers uh, link also available and service uh, central service met medical attendance rules 1944 free resource is also there FRSR uh, I would suggest you to go through the Swami compilations uh, FRSR 1, 2, 3 and uh, 4 and uh, LTC also you have the both free link and uh, uh, so LTCs uh, for Swami publications and central service uh, revised repair rules also you have I asked you to go for a pay rules made easy and financial handbook FHB 1 and 2 God department has uh, given the latest editions uh, that also I have provided here in the link if you just click it you will go there see here this is a 2022 version and uh, some 384 pages are there and you have to cover the entire thing and even FHB 2 also there are uh, there is a PDF uh, from the Department of Post that has been released in the year 2022 only and it also has some 356 uh, 357 pages uh, you may have to go through and uh, as far as uh, GFR 2017 is concerned please don't uh, read that uh, uh, PDF that is given there. If you want a PDF of uh, GFR 2017 latest one, when you search in Google, you will get a GFR 2071 17, uh, which is old one, and the contents are old, and uh, you will be uh, you will land in trouble. Just you drop a mail on career post two at the rate gmail.com. I will arrange to send you the uh, correct link for the new 2017 and. Uh, and you can also purchase for the Swami Publishers, uh, the latest one, uh, if you want. And CEA also, there is a Swami Publishers link and uh, and you have to have the free resources also available here. And CGGIS is a part of your syllabus and uh, Swami Publishers is available and a free link also I have provided for your uh, convenience. And uh, CCS, GDS Conduct Rules uh, 2011, uh, it is there better you go through the 2020 also because that is the latest one both you have to refer to and uh, central administrative tribunal act uh, i recommend to purchase uh, from the swami's uh, uh, publishers and uh, rti also you can have it from the swami publishers uh, however this uh, rti rules i have given it as a free resource you can see here and also this RT Act also, you can uh, go for a free resource also if you want. And here RTI rules, it is only just four pages, but definitely there will be one question or two questions uh, from this RTI rules. Uh, don't miss uh, uh, this section, just four pages only. And Sexual Harassment of Women at Workplace uh, Prevention Prohibition Redressal Act 2013, that also you have to go through. Public Accounts uh, Default Act 1850 that also is there as a part of your syllabus revenue recovery act 1890 is there as your syllabus this may you may have to use in your uh, 
uh, in your routine when you become an SP. So this is important. And Prevention of Corruption Act uh, amendment uh, read with its amendment 2018. This is the change in the syllabus in that is given on 31 12 2019 uh, corrigendum. Uh, that, that means you have to go through the 1988 uh, this free resource as well as you have to click this one also amendment 2018 also okay and uh, ccs uh, recognition of uh, service uh, association rules 1993 i have given and uh, goods and service tax uh, gst act 2017 and again personal volume 2 has come here swami publishers is there in that uh, chapter 3 4 and uh, 5 and 7 are there that is appeals petitions personal matters security deposit forged counterfeit stamps and defaced stamps and coins and currency notes are there and uh, interface with india post payment bank also is given that so you have to go through that india post payment bank website and go through entire thing i have made a video on ippb latest video you, you can go through it that will cover the entire thing uh, except for a few things uh, the entire thing has been covered disposal and uh, prevention and disposal of uh, postal records uh, there is one uh, good book uh, from the uh, Ghaziabad uh, Rakanpa that is uh, National Postal uh, Rafi Ahmad Ket by National Postal Academy this is a 108 page book compendium on uh, uh, preservation and disposal of records and you can have go through this book uh, for the preservation of records and uh, Swachh Bharat uh, also there is uh, some data I have given I think from Wikipedia you can check and something else I have given from the what is Swachh Bharat mission and uh, the other one is the uh, and inspection questionnaires also they are important in the last uh, year 2020 a good number of questions have been given from the inspection questions and we will also see in the later stage in this video how many questions are given from each topic also in the year 2019 and so on okay csi comprehensive guide to single post offices single hand post offices csi operating manual also it is there so this is all about the syllabus this is the end of the syllabus and now coming back to the uh, how to go about uh, with the uh, revision and reading and you have time very less time but within the less time I suggest that uh, reading versus revision uh, the revision is very important because according to me only 20% will be reading time and the revision should be some 80 percent reading the topics in your syllabus reading the volume once uh, with the notes preparation your notes should always be prepared uh, along with your reading that is what i suggest and revision revision of the topics in the syllabus should be done 80 percent how 80 percent means how far uh, the revision should be done means uh, revision on the second day seventh day 15th day and once in the month till the examination is on and uh, how will you do the revision by writing notes by doing mcqs by appearing for the mock tests or quizzes you can do the revisions and here one more point is that some one may ask uh, how can we do the revision on all days uh, you are saying on second seventh 15th and once in every month here my meaning is that uh, you need not read the entire volume whenever you are reading the volume you will wrote down the notes that is uh, which are important points just you have to keep in view the examination uh, question paper setters point of view how the questions can be asked uh, that also i will say, say in this video after a few minutes you will come to understand uh, in what way you should think and wrote, uh, write down the notes here uh, whenever you write uh, on one topic a uh, notes uh, the second day you have to go through the notes not the volume i am saying you go through the notes uh, and it will take less time for the for, for the second time third time it comes to first time it may take some 10 minutes second time it it comes to five minutes and the third time it comes to three minutes that way whatever you have already in the mind uh, you you are just recalling recollecting it and you are moving ahead and how to prepare notes for the examination means combined study will help you but i mind you it is only with the serious aspirants and compare your missing points at the end of the day that means you take a topic both of you take a similar topic you you may read many number of topics on a given day both of you can take some four or five or six topics uh, on a day but uh, you choose a single topic a common topic for both of you and at the end of the day you 
pose a difficult question to him and he will also pose a difficult question to you that means uh, you two should be in the shoes of the question paper setter for a while and you should think that uh, you are setting the question paper and you are going to give a difficult question to the other uh, companion uh, who is uh, involved in the combined study that way your study will be more effective and uh, and revision is key as i have told you uh, second day seventh day and 15th day and uh, one month you have to do it on your own and numbers are important this is very very important numbers uh, competent authorities years uh, dates uh, number of days uh, or periodicity or months uh, years uh, all these numbers uh, are very very important for your examination why is it so important i will tell you in a few moment just wait and uh, you should be precise you should be precise uh, in preparing the notes it should not be lengthy or it should not be in toto copying of the volume it should be by symbols by points uh, you may note down some points uh, you may note down some flow diagrams you may draw and you may have some tables uh, very small table some big table like that you may go for see for example this may be a, you can go for a small table like this one as i have made for the postal manual volume 5 for the insured bundle registered bundle uh, and this how many numbers are should be there or like this uh, mr bat that means this due bags what are the due bags mail bag register bag bo bag account bag transit bag so i have taken these letters m r b a and t and made it as mr bat so these things uh, like this can be a notes and this can be as big as a, like this uh, for an rpli and pli put together there are some 60 to 70 bits in this single slide you i mean to say so a uh, notes can be either way that suits you and that will help you and you can uh, stick it to the wall and go and see it uh, on a regular basis that will help you and this can be this is sb1 if you want you can take a screenshot this is a sb products uh, all products uh, data in a single screen you can take a screenshot also if you like and uh, like that you may have to prepare your own notes that suits you and uh, that will help you in uh, completing the task quickly and uh, how to answer MP mcqs in the examination this is very very important and uh, after completion of all your efforts uh, in uh, reading in preparation in making notes in revising you come to the end of the examination point and where you have to bubble the mcqs uh, my suggestion is that not just uh, don't uh, uh shoot it to bubble the omr quickly in the first 30 minutes at least the first 30 minutes you go through the questions uh, uh, try to answer with your pen or pencil on the question paper a small dot uh, or whatever it is that is uh, only conspicuous to you and then come to the bubbling of the question paper that way you will not you will come to a concentrated mind uh, and uh, your mind will be stable and you can start the bubbling the omr and once you make a mistake you, know, you cannot correct uh, and your mind will not be uh, in a proper way until you get a form in the first 15 uh, to 20 minutes next one is read the question twice beware of double negatives like not not correct not true incorrect per month per year only never always you should be careful whenever you find these words mostly they will be giving these questions none of these all of these uh, these things uh, you should be very careful and coming into the double check the answer also you should uh, check the answer before bubbling check the options uh, for like all of these and none of these i have told you sometimes uh, people tend to answer uh, there will be a nearest answer in a more, next second nearest answer in b and c and uh, there will be all of the above the answer will be all of the above sometimes and people tend to pick the a option and bubble it also please don't do that mistake and elimination process all we all know that the elimination eliminating the wrong answers uh, uh, find the alien option rephrase the question and then you will find the correct answer all together and uh, there are no negative marks uh, so after all your attempts and after all your uh, this thing uh, the last resort will be guessing the answer that uh, that uh, there is no negative marks for this question better you don't leave the question as unanswered to go for the question now we will see the uh, examination now let us going to the head of the examination question paper setter for a while i will give you four questions uh, with the same topic 
so that you can understand how the question paper thinks while preparing the uh, paper this is an mts question a standard of mts what is the circle headquarters of punjab if you know the uh, post that answer gandhi nagar chandigarh amritsar ambala if you know the answer you straight away put the answer in the comment section this is mts question that is a straight answer you know it goa state falls under the jurisdiction of which circle so this is uh, basically these are the questions derived from po guide part 1 that is the first chapter that is organization and uh, answers are assam maharashtra gujarat goa is a circle this is a postman question somewhat little bit uh, uh, good in standard and for a pa the same type of uh, Uh, topic is taken but this time some matching is given see here match the following headquarters uh, circle headquarters uh, with that of the jurisdictions andhra pradesh gujarat tamil nadu pondicherry dayu daman yanam and abcd are given uh, given the matching so please post the answers in the comment section this is the now you find somewhat difficult and coming into ipo examination which of the following circles has a postal circle headquarters in its state capital haryana assam gujarat punjab so here you have to understand that in this question you have to know all the circle headquarters and you have to know all the state capitals then only you will come to know which is the state uh, which is the circle that is having its uh, headquarters in the state capital so i don't want to say the answer you try to post the answer in the comment section for ipo examination question you write ipo and write the answer which of the following circles now coming into your part that is a ps group b examination question now you have to answer this question which of the following circles uh, has a postal circle headquarters in its uh, uh, state capital the same question that is given as a uh, Uh, given for ipo but in a different way for ps group b they are asking see here haryana assam gujarat punjab and a is 1 and 2 only b is 1 2 3 only c is 4 only d is 1 2 3 and 4 only so this is how a similar topic will be taken and different questions for different cadres will be prepared so the level of difficulty will be in the making of question itself and so you have to think in this pattern whenever you are reading itself that means whenever you are preparing your notes uh, you should have a overview see here you should know the entire thing see here this is the uh, part uh, from where the question has been given see here these are all the circles these are all the headquarters circle headquarters and we know that uh, the only circles uh, which are having which are not having the headquarters of the circles at the state uh, capitals are only three what are those three this first one is uh, hag haryana it is ambala a is assam hag i am telling hag for your easy remembrance these are the three circles haryana assam and gujarat haryana it is ambala whereas uh, haryana it is uh, chandigarh is the state capital and assam it is gauhati circle headquarter whereas uh, state headquarters it is uh, dispur state capital it is dispur and uh, gujarat it is ahmedabad whereas uh, state capital it is gandhinagar so this is the level of difficulty that you should be uh, prepared for in your preparation so the others are same now one more point is that i have told you in the earlier instance uh, why you have to read the you have to read the question twice now answer this question which of the following statements with reference to pmsvi is not true the amount payable to the insurant on uh, total error and irrecoverable loss of sight of one eye or loss of use of one hand or foot is uh, rupees 1 lakh joint account holders can join the scheme by paying separate premium for each of the account holders premium is 12 rupees per month participating banks will be master policy holders in this scheme now you try to answer this question if you can answer this question generally then i can say that your presence of mind is very very good here the question it is not true and you have to pick the wrong answer wrong statement here the answer is uh, c probably if you have chosen c you are correct and uh, your wifi is good this premium is 12 rupees you will think that it is correct but it is uh, per month and uh, the answer is uh, it is per year 
This is the question given in 2019 IPO examination and uh, at that time it was 12, now it is 20, that also you have to remember PMSBY rates have been changed as JJBY it has come to 436. So one more question for you. I am testing your patience. If 1 is equal to 5, 2 is equal to 10, 3 is equal to 15, 4 is equal to 20, then 5 is equal to A, 25, B, 1, C, 1 and 25, D, none of these. Try to answer this question in the comment section. I mean to say, you have to read the question twice, then only you can give the correct answer. As soon as you see the question, any prudent uh, guy on the road uh, can say that the answer is 25. But, uh, for God's sake, the answer is 1 and 25. How 25 we know, how 1 means uh, in the question itself it is given as 1 is equal to 5 means 5 is equal to 1. So there are two answers for this question. That is why I mean to say the question has to be read. Uh, my inference is that question has to be read twice. Then only you will, you will be able to answer these types of questions uh, that uh, 1 has been posed in the year 2019 uh, IPO examination also. Now, let us move to the strategy. Of course, there is not much time for you, but uh, whenever it comes to the focusing some on certain points, you have to focus on the weak areas. For example, if you are weak in English or drafting or noting, you have to focus on that area. How will you focus? You will just prepare for that drafting or noting. You will purchase one book or you will go through a website or something and you will try to write one drafting and noting on daily basis uh, and you and I am giving you an option also you may send uh, one draft question and answer to me also I will correct it and uh, throw the marks to you and one more point is that uh, build a proper study plan proper strategy and timetable for your examination may it be some 40 days or 30 days it doesn't uh, mean but you have to have a proper strategy and everyone will ha will be having their own uh, timings for them for them to read and uh, suppose a asrm cannot be asked to read in the uh, morning he has to take some rest in the morning then only he will be able to do in the afternoon in the night he may have to go to the night set so if everyone will be having different plans and regular practice is important previous year papers and mock tests uh, quiz, quizzes also will help you in regular practice time management is important in your preparation, you take short breaks, avoid distractions, uh, uh, for God's sake, at least uh, for this uh, uh, 30 to 40 days. And you have to try different strategy and select the best one. Try different order of attempt patterns in your mock test that will enable you to understand which is working for you the best way. And uh, regarding the analysis part of uh, papers uh, 2019 and 20 of PS Group B, I have seen that uh, periodicities, years, uh, percentages, uh, rates, uh, times, selection, sections, uh, numbers, uh, rule numbers, article numbers. They have given uh, almost in paper 1 48 questions uh, based on numbers. It may be a uh, periodicity, how many months, how many years, or uh, it may be a year, or it may be a rule number. Like that, it may be any number. It, there are 38 to 41 percent uh, it has been given the numbers so why i am telling all these things is that uh, in paper 2 you can see that it some 62 questions out of 150 that means some 41 percent are numbers why i am telling is that you have to be very precautious in preparing your notes you should be very very strict uh, in preparing notes uh, whenever you see a number you drop it into your notes and revise it uh, thoroughly again and again and again until your examination is over. So, and one more point is that which of the following is incorrect or correct questions, uh, they have given almost 5 to 8 percent in both uh, paper, some 8 questions in uh, paper 1 and in 8 questions in some paper 2 also they have given this type of questions. What is the inference is that uh, you should be prepared, uh, uh, you should be prepared in uh, while preparing your notes itself, uh, you should think in that lines, which question is the probable uh, lines it, will, it is there. 
so and competent authorities are also important and uh, you have seen that in paper 1 some 8 questions are there in paper 2 eight, 10 questions are there regarding that uh, fall in this uh, pattern which of the following is correct and incorrect if they have given and competent authorities also some 2% uh, they are asking so whenever you find a competent authority you have to note down that means I have given you whenever there is a number whenever there is a competent authority or whenever there is a points 1 2 3 like that is it is given in the uh, volume you have to get them in the notes that is what you have to do that is why i am telling here now coming into the roles of ps group b officer once you become a ps group b officer you are the recruiting authority you are the recruiting authority for bpm and pa and the recruitment work you have to do and supervisor you are the supervisor and you are the controlling authority for the entire division you are the disciplinary authority for bpm pa and supervisors you are you will act as a disciplinary authority and appoint the IP, iopo in fraud cases ensure all aspects in the uh, investigation process and uh, Inspecting authority, you also act as inspecting authority. You visit BOs, SOs, HOs, RMS offices. You conduct the inspections. You conduct visits under your jurisdiction. And you are also a controlling authority, controlling authority for the entire division. And acts as the manager in operation, planning, development of the division. If you are in division, if you are in AD or AD in a circle office RO, there is a different part you will be given sub separate subject as a technology, mails, uh, staff or uh, some other thing, recruitment or some other thing in which you have to be thorough with the rules and and you have to execute in that aspect responsible for overall development of the division, ensure the targets and you have different financial powers uh, and uh, you have to go through the financial powers also as a part of your syllabus now and uh, leave sanctioning authority you are leave sanctioning authority for bpm for pa for supervisors for aipsp you will grant cl el and all that all the different kinds of leaves and so much of uh, different responsibilities are shouldered on you you will have to uh, have you will have to manage the unions on one side you have how to manage the staff on the other side you will have to manage the higher ups on the other side and you will have to manage the public uh, regarding their complaints uh, their requests uh, and on the other side so this is all together a, a big role that you have to uh, uh, you are interested with uh, when you become a ps group b officer and uh, once you become a ps group b officer i suggest you some four uh, small things uh, you have to keep in mind the work life work and life balance with a lot of work pondering around you you need to strike a balance between the work and life take care of your health by allotting adequate time to it also and the second suggestion is that the maturity is that in decision making maturity in decision making is important uh, as a ps group b officer whatever is your background uh, however big or small it may be you need to take a conscious decision with maturity and rational by thinking twice before you order something because it may change it may give a change to the others and you are influencer person there in the division and relations with the staff to settle and shine uh, as a PS Group B officer, you need to maintain good at, but rational relationship with the staff. I mean to say rational, it is very, very important. And, uh, and the last one, but it is not the least one, this is the important one that will turn you around to work well for you. It is the welfare measures that you adopt in your division before you ask anything or you expect anything from others uh, you need to give within the purview within what it is possible for you be compassionate and considerate with your staff that will be a stepping stone for your victory as a ps group b officer once you become and uh, i always request you to watch this particular slide uh, even after you become a ps group b officer also thank you and there is one uh, one more request is there that you can have the telegram group also you can join here and please hit that subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified about your new my new videos we post on this channel for more marks and higher ranking subscribe to career post thank you